Carrie here. I'm back with another video. This time it's a comparison. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. How much you guys love my Samsung Note 9 drawing videos, artist related video, and so I wanted to compare it to the Note 5 because drawing wise it's still usable and right now I'm seeing it for around $200, less than $200 on Amazon and it's still a great phone in this day and age. Of course there are some drawbacks from the Note 9. First of all is software. The Note 9 is running at least three to four versions better of Android. So it's on Android 9 and has one UI so it's a lot speedy and it's a little bit faster compared to the Note 5 but I know a lot of you guys don't always have Note 9 so if you get a Note 5 you're not going to notice that difference unless you're coming from a bigger flagship but drawing wise if you just want a little pocket sketchbook it will work and also it still has the same animation when you pull out your S Pen so there's still some familiar familiarity there so you don't have to worry and the biggest difference is on the S Pen is the tips. The tip is a lot finer on the Note 9. They got it right and plus it has more pressure sensitivity around 4,000. This number to be exact compared to this number on the Note 5. And what does that mean in real use? Well those numbers actually do make a difference <laughs> for once. Uh, it does not feel as good to be sketching on the Note 5 compared to the Note 9. That's because I personally use the Note 9, but before that I did not notice that difference. But still, it's a notable difference. I know I keep contradicting myself. I don't like sketching on the Note 5. It's good for coloring because the pressure sensitivity is not lifelike compared to the Note 9 or compared to other um, devices. So. For that point, it goes to the Note 9. That's why I like coloring on the Note 5 com compared to sketching on it. Sure, you can sketch on it, like I'm showing you right here. It's possible, but it won't be like newest tech. But again, with art, it's not in the tools, it's with the artist. So if you just want to get something to just draw, this will work. But let me tell you some other drawbacks is that there's no expandable storage and it's not waterproof. So that might not be a big deal for a lot of people, but if it's a big deal for you, then consider just saving your money, get the Note 8, or just wait till the Note 10 comes out so that way like the Note 8 and the Note 9 will be a lot cheaper. So, and also the thing about buying older used Note 5 is there's some problems with the S Pen. Um, especially with the spring, sometimes the spring is broken and you might get your S Pen stuck in there. That's what happened to my teacher and some other um, people that I know that have Note 5. So be wary of that. And also, the thing about buying an older used phone is the battery. Sometimes the batteries drain and since the battery is sealed in, it's going to be super expensive to get it fixed. Sure, I'm praising the Note 5, but if you get a really good deal on it, like you get it like manufacturer refurbish and 30 day money back guarantee, stuff like that. Don't just like get it from some random person unless it's a really good deal. So just be careful with that guys. And besides those things software wise and the fact that um, the pressure sensitivity does make a difference in sketching wise but it's still possible to sketch on it. I did this quick sketch here and I started coloring and I still use Autodesk Sketchbook, my favorite app. And yeah, I hope this gives you guys a bit of more perspective on your next purchase. Maybe these are no deal breaker for you, you just need something to draw, you don't care about having newer software, newer feature, you don't care about expandable storage or waterproof, you just need a phone that works. And on the Note 5 works if you get it in the right place. So please do your research and get it in the right place because used models of phones do have issues because there's a certain um, time that each battery has to be replaced. My phone tells me, even the Note 9, the battery needs to be replaced every three years. So be careful with that so that way you get a phone, you like it, you're drawing on it, and then suddenly, boom, you got an issue and you're like, oh, but Carrie, you recommended me this phone. So here's your forewarning when buying used item. In general, just use item. This is not specifically to the Note 5. This could be applied to a used Note 9 or Note 8. 
So the reason I wanted to make this video because I all about frugal. I like to save a lot of money on stuff, but sometimes I like to splurge. And I know not everyone can splurge on the newest Note 9 or Note 10 or whatever new technology is going to come out for drawing. And I know as artists, we don't have a lot of money. So I like making videos like these to give um, artists better perspectives when they're buying stuff, to give them peace of mind and to see what exactly are they getting into. So especially regarding to arts, a lot of the text um, in detail stuff um, does not matter in daily use. Um, sure, the, uh, one of the biggest difference, of course, is the Note 5 will be a lot slower than the Note 9. That's because it came out a couple years ago, newer processor and stuff like that. But technology has improved so far that we don't need the quickest, latest thing to just get the work done. So if that's what you can get your hands on and you want to know you're a fan of the note line then go for it and make sure you get a good deal on it and also guys as always i'll be including a blog post below it'll probably be up a couple days after this video or before so that way you guys could see a more in-depth that's in the blog post that's where i talk about things like specs and things that are a little bit more in detail compared to the videos the videos are a little bit more authentic um it's just like my common knowledge since i really like this stuff i'm obsessed with technology and obsessed with art and so the videos are just like off the top of my head no scripted and just like this delivered to you guys and so i hope you guys enjoy this if you guys find this helpful let me know down in the comments below if you have any more questions let me know and please hit that notification button for more videos and I'll see you guys next week after finals are done. Bye!